guys i'm back with yet another look for valentine's day 2020 starting with nika k brand's eyebrow cream and then i'm using my p louise 07 to clean it up right after i apply my red eyeshadow using the crayon craces box of crayons palette in the shade brown just don't know why they call it brown but it looks really really good i'm not gonna open the palette because it looks terrible but you guys get the point so we're gonna get started on the actual whole look using p louise's rude boy red and I'm going to be applying that all over my lid. When I apply it on my lid, I then blend it outward. Honey, it's gonna give, okay? Can't have this looking all messy and having my eyeshadow up to my eyebrows and stuff. So make sure we are only doing our lid and then blending outwards to our cleanup. So when you finish, it should pretty much look like this. Basically, this is the best red base that I can ever do. So now I'm going to take my Morph X Jaclyn Hills Bling Boss Palette and I'm taking the shade Spark and I'm going to also apply that all over my lid and blend it outwards only ever so slightly because then afterwards I still have to apply my transition color. With smoky eyes you always want to start with such a deep color such as Spark is. So when you apply your transition color which is usually brighter than the color that you apply on your lid, it would give out a smoky effect. It's blend out nicely. For another example, think of a sunset look. People will usually start with such a deep purple, then transition into a pink. If you want to get crazy, you can add another transition into orange, maybe yellow. This way, the color completely brightens up as it goes out, and it just looks so bomb. And that is the key to a perfect smoky eye. Being that the base is brighter than Spark is, I actually really could have left it like this. But being that I'm extra, I'm going to add a transition and I'm probably going to add another transition after that. Not so sure. So for my first transition color, I used Morph's 3.5B palette. I used the red shade. It's a lot brighter than Spark is to the point that it looks pink against Spark ultimately making me decide to use another transition so it's brightened up a little more i wasn't really feeling the pink so i took juvia saharan palette and i took the colors jamia and sakoto being that they're orange with a very deep orange so it still has a hint of red i'm gonna blend that out with them notice that i'm applying this transition shade slightly on the last shade that was applied and also slightly above it this is how you blend out your transitions that way the two colors blend but you also still have the main color that you're applying at the top now that i'm satisfied with how this blend out came out it's time to move on to some glitter i'm taking jay larue's cherry blossom glitter it is so bomb guys like look at that has red chunky and fine glitter it has silver chunky and fine glitter and it also has a little bit of gold iridescent glitter along with the silver being iridescent Let the, what this thing was like made for jessica rabbit and honestly i'm ready sign me up for the position anyways let me stop playing with y'all i am applying some glue all over my lid i always try to put a light layer of glue that way you don't have all that chunky glue to clean up afterwards. You don't really want that. It's kind of terrible. After that, I take a flat brush and I like to pat my glitters on. Usually I'll wet the brush so the glitters will stick to it. And I like to really pat mainly because of fine glitter. Chunky glitter, you can literally place it on. But fine glitter, you have to kind of like get it from the brush to your eye. Sometimes the glue would just transfer to the brush and you won't have any glitter on your eye, which is so fun. I tried to place the glitter only on my lid because any higher, it tends to get a little messy looking. Making overall, just following your lid shape, the best thing you can do in makeup ever. Ta 
think the stylist got her eyelids covered wink wink now it's time to move on to face i'm starting off with some calamine lotion that my best friend hates but whatever i think it's perfect for beats then i'm going to move on to my foundation i'm using elf and espresso after that i'm moving along with my p louise in 07 and 05 and that's going to be my highlight for today skipping cream contour i'm setting my face with juvia sahara and here of course i got a lot of saharas anyways for my powdered contour i use fenty's pro filter powdered foundation in 495 i'm just snatched I'm loving it but anyways i still have more to do so i took the harm blush volume one from juvia's in the shade neo and i applied that blush all over my cheeks like so then we take our Fenty Sand Castles. I love Rihanna and I expected so much more of this company, but one thing I will always love is these highlighters. They have such a high shine value. <sighs> but anyways, let's get into this lip. It's Melt Cosmetics Ebony and Undertone Nudes. Lashes, some 25 millimeters from the beauty supply store because I love exaggerated lashes. Now, let me change my hair and my outfit. Turn into a baddie real quick, hold on. There we go, much better decided to add some little heart rhinestones that I found from the dollar store actually which I thought was so super cute and I thought this look was simple enough for everybody to try for tomorrow because you know it is Valentine's Day and I am not available for booking but I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day because mine might be a little boring this year <laughs> But actually, I want to tell you guys, I wasn't really feeling the matte lips, so I decided to add Fenty's Chocolate. This is my all-time favorite lip gloss ever. It has this brown undertone, which I think works beautifully on almost every skin tone. But yeah, the look is done. Let me go work on the next one for you guys, and I will see ya soon. Bye!